So, I would like to talk about knee action because knee action is the key of success for any kind of skater in any kind of discipline. Knee action is the key of increasing the speed. The knee action is the key of rhythm. Without knee action, there is no skating. And even walking, we do knee action. Just not as accentuated, but we do. So one of the exercises that I used to love doing with my kids is very relaxing. It just gives you an idea of how the knee action is working. The knee action, I always described it as a wave, as a sound wave. It never stops. It will never stop. It doesn't matter through which material it goes, it never stops. So if I draw a line here and another line here, I always explain to my kids that there are two different types of knee action. This is the first one and this is the second one. So normally knee action goes from up to down, sorry, from down to up and up to down or the other way around. But these two combination in different exercise or in different skating technique or in different steps has to be there. One of the exercises that I do with my kids in order to let them understand the knee action and a different type of knee action is this. We take a music with tempo, normally one, two, three, four, it's much easier at the beginning instead of a waltz music. And we're gonna do one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and repeat. It's hard for kids to get right away the knee action and you have to be creative. So imagine you have a basketball ball or a tennis ball and you start using the ball and bouncing, okay? The bounce is, doesn't come only with the hand. If everyone uh, already played basketball, and then they know that you cannot walk stiff and bounce with the basketball ball. So before even doing this exercise, I do a, a circle and we all do basketball on the ice. That means that you have an imaginary ball and you're gonna drop it and picking up again. Like this, you have a smooth bounce. The main problem from the kids is like, when they go down, they stay. When they go up, they stay. So it's really hard to get this movement smooth. It's just with hard work. But this exercise is fundamental. You can do on a circle, you can do backward, you can do on the other side, you can combine this exercise doing like one, 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 two, one, 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 two, or just a normal knee action down, 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 or up, 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 up. We can argue about the we can argue about the style, but the knee actions are there. There is no one that can tell you that skating doesn't necessarily implement a knee action because the skating that we have seen for 30, 40 years were totally different skating style. Without the getting speed, without the acceleration, uh, was more static. Here we want to accelerate, we want to be aerodynamic. In order to be aerodynamic, you have to be a proper technique. And in order to have a proper technique, you have to have the knee action.